Uh, my dear people, uh, I am uh, addressing you with a little pain and grief. Manipur is in the news, but with, for unhappy reasons. Uh, there has been violence over there, lives have been lost, property has been damaged, and uh, we are very, very upset about these episodes which have happened, uh, which have been highlighted in the press, but uh, we hang our head in shame that this could have happened uh, in our country, India, and something which will never happen uh, ever. Uh, this should not be allowed to happen. Uh, the government has moved and there have been some arrests, but we should, this should have never happened, uh, that's all I can say. Uh, our hearts go out to those who have lost people. And we pray for them. Uh, I'm addressing you because uh, we want to make it clear. Now, I was waiting, we've had the president of the CBCI with whom I'm in continuous contact, Archbishop Andrew Tarat, and the Archbishop of the place of Imphal, Archbishop Dominic Lumon. Uh, we've been reviewing the situation and seeing how uh, things are, how we can help. This is a tribal conflict. Two tribes, historically very hostile to each other uh, and it exploded into violence because of uh, certain legislation which was passed. It is not, it is given a religious twist but it is not a religious conflict between two religions, it's between two tribes. And we must now not do anything that will worsen the situation. Uh, efforts at building harmony, peace should continue. And uh, I, last night, this morning, I spoke to again the CBCI president and the, the plans of how to restore and the church can make a contribution for peace building. Churches have been destroyed, but temples also have been destroyed. Uh, many more churches than temples, you know, and we must help them to rebuild. Uh, I'm asking that, uh, I've asked my finance office to coordinate all the material relief efforts and uh, to find an appropriate day. Uh, we decided that 12th and 13th of August we'll have a special collection uh, and send the money to uh, Archbishop over there. But I invite convents, institutions, associations, cells, zones, uh, Catholic Sabha, all of you who want to uh, help out the church, make your collection, contribution, send it directly or contact my office, finance office, which will coordinate the relief efforts. I, I'll keep you informed how things are going on. Uh, but I want you to uh, pray that the situation is. This is the need of the R for Manipur and also this is the need of the R for our country to be able to live in harmony and understanding. Uh, uh, keep this prayer in your intention. I know you pray at home. More can be wrought by prayer than, we, than the world dreams of. Pray sincerely, intensely and uh, I really invite you to be generous the diocese also be generous with uh, Imphal uh, when we uh, make this collection over there. But even before, please send it uh, on. I thank you and uh, let us be in solidarity with the people over there who are suffering. And the Archbishop has thanked me more than once for our support, our emotional support. But uh, and I'm conveying this to you. Thank you, people of Bombay. Keep praying for Manipur. God bless you.